Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here from Pragmatic Works. And today I'm introducing a three-part series in the AI capabilities of the Power Query Editor. In this first video, I'm going to talk about how to extract text from HTML website using the add column from example directly from the UI inside of the navigator as you go to import your source in. And as we use this, we can really use just about any website and extract the text from it and create our own tables relatively quickly. In the other videos, I'm going to talk about uh, how to use fuzzy matching when we go to use a merge. The fuzzy matching option allows you to compare like or similar um, names inside or text with inside of that column. And the third video, I'm going to show you the different date time transformation options using the AI inside the add column from example inside the Power Query Editor. Stick around for all three videos, but let's go ahead and get started with the extracting eight text from an HTML website. So here we are at my favorite shopping site and I'm looking at computers today. And so as we look through our results, we can see we have different descriptions and different prices, shipping or not. So what I want to do is I want to look at all of these. I want to look at all of this information with inside of Power BI. Well, if I use the web connector as we typically do, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Power BI and I'm going to grab this web URL because we know there's a web URL connector inside of Power BI. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that web URL. We can go up here and choose get data and we're going to be choosing that web source. All right. And we go to paste the web source in and click OK. The navigator is going to appear to give us the preview of our information. So as we look to find our devices with inside of one of these tables, what we're going to notice is the information from the website about all of the laptops is not actually available to us. So then how do we get that information? Well, we're going to use the add table using examples option. So what this is going to do, this is going to create a table using add column from examples from the website and it's going to be really awesome to be able to extract whatever information you want from a website if it's not available using that web connector. So I'm going to go ahead and click add table using examples. And this is going to bring up the website. So we can see I have the name. I have whether or not it was refurbished. I have the price. I also have whether or not it's free shipping or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this add column from example. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to extract the entire description of the device. So I'm going to name this column the description. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start giving it examples. So the first one is HP and notice that it gives us options. The IntelliSense pops up. Hey, uh, which one would you like to use? And this is the desktop computer quad. All right. And so we're going to choose the HP desktop computer quad. And then as we click into the second one, it wants to verify the example so we're going to give it a second example here all right there it is and notice as i click down into the next row it's now pulling in the next description dell desktop computer quad then Windows 11 Pro, Dell, Optiplex. So now that I have all of the descriptions of the devices, that's my first column. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and add a new column. And now I want to have 
maybe uh, whether it was refurbished or maybe pre-owned. So maybe the condition here. All right, and so once again, I'm gonna start, start with the first one. So that's refurbished. All right, then I'm gonna click into the next line. That one is, is also refurbished. So I'm providing it a couple examples here. And what we notice is if I scroll down, we can now see and what we'll see if I scroll down, we have pre-owned versus refurbished. So we can determine what kind of laptop or desktop this is going to be. We can go ahead and add another column. Let's maybe do the price here. All right, so that first price is 129 to 323. There it is. And the next one is 163.89. So as I give it a few examples, notice now it's extracting all of the prices for all of the devices. All right, and then maybe let's just do one more. Um, let's do the shipping here. All right, so this first one is free shipping. The second one is also free shipping. And we can now see that once I've given it a few examples, and once again, it does take some work to get it to extract, depending on the website here. But we can see it is now working correctly. And we can see the devices or desktop app that have the additional shipping attached to them. All right, from that point, we can just click OK. All right, notice that now <clears throat> we have our custom table with inside of our navigator. And from there, we can hit transform data and go inside the Power Query editor and make any additional transformations that we want to. All right, so from here, once I have my description, everything that I need, I can then change this however I need to. I can split this description up by the device requirements, by their RAM, or by how much memory they have. So we have the option here to now manipulate this data from an HTML website that we currently did not have by using that web connector. Make sure that you give a video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, this is a three-part series. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use fuzzy matching when we go to merge columns together with inside of the Power Query and how the AI is used to match those different columns together. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.